up my friends thanks for stopping in again at ASCII Guitar Pro this is Jake today's demo is going to be on the Hardwire TL2 metal distortion pedal uh, actually a Digitech product awesome pedal very beefy I've been playing around with it and uh, it's just got some awesome tones you can coax out of it all the way from uh, I guess you could say an overdriven Marshall to uh, definitely a higher end scoop sounds you name it this pedal has it so First, want to thank my friends at Universal Music in Thornton, Colorado, for hooking me up with this pedal today. Thanks a lot, guys. And gear-wise, I'm playing a an Ibanez Prestige through a PV 50 watt Valve King, and uh, obviously, we'll be on the clean channel today. So here is the pedal off, just the clean signal, of course. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about the buttons on this pedal here. Uh, what you have on the TL2 is a few different features. You've got a level knob, of course, which is uh, the volume level compared to the amp itself. So right now we've got it set more or less on unity gain. Then you have a high and low frequency button. The high and low frequency, what it does for you is the center knob is the highs you can turn up, and the ring knob, if you want to call it that, is the low frequency. So you can turn them up both at the same time to get a scooped effect and we'll go into that then you have a mid frequency button what this button does is uh, the center button is basically the cut if you turn it down or add if you if you turn it clockwise and the frequency button which is the ring button basically adjusts what will be boost or cut so for example when it's all the way up turned all the way clockwise here uh, the add would be right around the 5 kilohertz range and if you go all the way counterclockwise it takes you down to 200 hertz so what's very cool here is you can actually select the frequency that you want boosted or cut in this cut in this knob right here and then of course your typical gain uh, knob right there and then you also have a tight and a loose button the tight is going to be more punchy which you'll find here in a second and then the loose button is going to give you more of a bassy um, a little more uh, I guess you could just say loose bass attack. I don't want to use the word slop because that's not appropriate, but um, you'll see basically for your ears what that sounds like here. So anyways, we'll start with the gain down really all the way off, and you do get some pretty good breakup. <laughs> Marshall getting pushed, I guess you could say. over to the neck pickup. Okay, let's pull the gain up to about nine o'clock here on the amp you're gonna hear start uh, things start to get a little beefier here <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
the gain up to halfway. I think this is the sweet spot of the pedal. And I hate to say it, even though it sounds pretty vanilla, but I, but I think this pedal is honestly the best when all of the knobs, the mid frequency, the gain, the high and low are all set at high noon. I think it just gives it the best amount of punch uh, without being too over the, the top gamey. So here's kind of what that sound sounds like. Okay, so what I want to do now while the gain is sitting at high noon here, I want to show you how we can change some of the frequencies by moving the high and low buttons uh, for starters here. So what I want to do first is I'm going to turn down the level just a touch and I'm going to turn up the highs and lows here to really give a scooped version here. You'll see what I mean. That's a little brittle, but it is a it is definitely a scoop sound. So you can get some pretty meaty uh, new metal or, or definitely heavier metal tones. <laughs> pull that back down and I could even accentuate that even more by actually turning the mid frequencies all the way down depending upon what range we selected again the mid button does have the option to uh, adjust your your mid boost your bid mid cut from 200 Hertz to 5 kilohertz so but we'll leave that straight up right now um, we're gonna pull this back actually what I want to do right now is we're gonna pull up the volume just a touch and I'm going to show you what the mid and uh, frequency boost cut does. <laughs>
let's take a few minutes here uh, to look at the final features on this pedal. Notably, we'll crank up the gain a little bit more, and then I'll also turn on the tight versus the loose setting. So here it is on the tight setting on the left side, a little more punchy. <laughs> switch to the loose let's mess with these as we pull up the gain swinging by ASCII Guitar Pro. This is Jake. Uh, today's demo, pretty cool demo. The Hardwire pedal uh, TL2 metal distortion. Um, Digitech pedal here. I really like some of the tones you can coax out of this. Some really warm gain tones and uh, pretty impressive generally. I want to thank my friends again at Universal Music in Thornton, Colorado for uh, letting me check out this pedal and Anyways, guys, we will uh, we'll catch you next next time. Check us out on the website as well at www.askaguitarpro.com. I'm Jake. Take care, everyone. See ya.